notes back in my garage. Okay, so I went wandering around. And, oh, Jesus is tipping over. And one, there's a bajillion boxes just laying around the map. Two, I found a rusted out car, but it was another convertible. So I brought it home and then sold it immediately for $527. Um, I went to the junkyard, found a bunch of decent parts, transmission stuff, and made a bunch of money doing work. So we got about five grand. Here's what I want. This thing is not great. Um, it needs a, it needs a, Jesus, it needs a wash. This thing is not great at hauling stuff around. And I want a trailer, but I don't want to put a trailer hitch on this piece of crap. So I'm going to take my $5,000. We're going to head down to, let's see here. Where is it? Uh, junkyard. And we're going to see if, uh, Oh, here comes the loading. We're, we're going to see if they got a four-door car here that I can purchase. Okay, there. Oh, is that one? Is that one? Ooh, that's no. That's uh, that's the coupe. That's that's a uh, station wagon. That's another coupe. Okay, well, I think. Okay, so like I wanted to buy one of the new oh, jeez. I wanted to buy one of the newer cars. Uh this one isn't horrific. What do you got in you, bud? Let me see. Engine looks decent. You know what? I'm buying this. How much is this? Is this like two grand, three grand? What is this? Four grand? Oh my God, it's $4,000. I'm going to buy this. Give me this. All right, so I only got 800 bucks left. But that's not the worst thing in the world because there is like all sorts of decent parts kicking around here. Uh, and not for very much money. So if we pick a few things out of here that we're going to need, um, I'd like a lock differential, uh, and, and grab them and bring them back. We might be able to piece together something we can use as a secondary car. And I'm not going to like tart it out or anything like that. It's just going to be straight up. Oh my God. Is that a black door panel or is that just upside down? That's a black door panel. I want those. Um, I'm not going to like tart it all up with a whole bunch of fancy stuff. It's going to be a basic car with a trailer hitch. So when I can afford a trailer, we can, uh, we can do that. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, I still got to pay 100 bucks to get this towed, don't I? Yeah, tow it to the shop. Okay, tow it to the garage. All right. Oh, my God. Look, look at this. I'm already down to $700. Let me take a taxi back. All right, so we're back at the garage now with this flaming piece of garbage. Okay, getting wheels on it's going to be nigh impossible. So... And I don't care if it's a little dinged up or anything like that, although this I might repair, but in the hood and the, the light the whole thing, I don't know. I'll probably end up repairing all of it, but I'm just going to put a real basic engine on here. Nothing super special because I just want something I can throw a trailer on or throw parts into. And as much as I wanted the coupe at first, I already got a, a fancy sports car. And I think when I make enough money, I'm going to do up one of all the cars, the, uh, Sedan, this coupe here, and then the convertible. Uh, yeah, get over there. All uh, sporty, but for now, I just want a runaround car. So I'm not always just trying to cram things in that uh, convertible there. Like I said, I'm not going to be super concerned about the body on this car. Uh, I, I, I may not even remove all the rust, but I want to get the holes out of the bottom. Faux show. Because... That's not good. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me see here. Let's get the tire off first. Where did I put my wrench? I've been I've been organizing my shop a little bit, but not like crazy organization. So it's probably just going to have 14-inch wheels on it. Probably not white walls because I'm not a huge fan of white walls on cars like this, but we will see. So, okay, the, the, this whole thing is shot. We're going to try to reuse as many parts as possible um, because that just makes sense. So... The engine actually isn't bad. Like, the alternator doesn't look great. But the engine itself, I don't even know if it's got a crank or anything in it, but let's 
Let's, uh, can I just remove, I'm going to have to do all this, aren't I? Okay. Um, all this has got to go anyway. The whole subframe's got to go. So I'm just going to do this, start loosening things up, and then try to get the subframe out. Okay, where's the, where's the bottom of the subframe? There we go. All right. Subframe, subframe. Oh, yeah, because it's still attached to the transmission. But I got a spare transmission, so we should be fine there. Drive shaft looks a little bit worn. <laughs> it's got no differential. There goes the drive shaft. So any parts that are garbage, we'll just pitch right away, and we get a few extra bucks for them. Whoa. Or we'll do that. That's cool. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Has that been disconnected? I forgot. Yeah, I disconnected that. What I open? I open the door. All right, I'm getting really good at transmission changes because I've been doing a lot of them. But the transmission on this is, is dinked anyway, so we might as well just take it out. All right, come on. Whoop. All right, I'll drop you out the window for a sec. All right, so what is possibly... Okay, this tie rod. This shock is still here. This tie rod looks actually not the worst, but it's kind of worn and I don't want any worn parts on here that I, that I can't reuse. So we're going to take this one off and then, okay, let me see here. There you go. Okay. So this, uh, hub for the front is fine. Let's put everything here. That's any good. All right, let's see. What is holding this on still? That's off. It's got to be that tie rod, right? There it is. All right, take this off. This is still good. That tie rod is still good. All the good parts can go over here this time. This time we're not going to waste all our money on brand new parts. We're just going to get things done, make it work. Where's my spring compressor? All right, we take the spring. Because like I said, I just want this, this runaround car. Whoop. And this will be perfect for it. Okay, here we go. Well, no, I think I think the four-door would be better, honestly. Because it would allow for um, more space for stuff. But this is what was available. So this is what we got. And this is what we're going to deal with. Oh, yeah, the shock. Okay, did I not loosen the shock? There we go. All right, there you are. All right, so you're junk. You can go in the junk, junkity junk pile. All right, so what do we got here? What's holding this in? It's got to be the shocks holding it in, right? Well, and the wiring and everything's still connected, probably. So we'll lower it down. We'll get the engine out and the cross member out. And then we'll uh, work on other things. All right, let's see here. Because this engine ain't, like, not, all, not everything's there, but, you know, it could be, it could be, like, far worse. Like, even this battery looks all right. Oh, no, there's no battery there. <laughs> Never mind. I thought it was a battery. I lied. All right, disconnect that. These wires look all right. Uh, these look all right, don't they? Yeah, they're fine. Battery wires. Okay, the radiator looks like it might be salvageable. That hose is. This hose, though, is not. Now, why are you not coming loose here? Oh, wait a minute. That's weird that you got to do undo those ones. Yeah, that engine just fell out. All right, that's cool. Okay, this, this is a bad radiator hose. This can go out through the window. And then we got one good radiator hose. The cross member just fell out. Nice. All right. So that's good. Engine. Everything here looks good except the alternator. So we'll just drive it into this. Grab this. And then, okay, let's see here. Okay. The Also the uh, distributor shot, but that's fine. Ugh. These wires look good. 
Distributors got to come out. And that can be junked. I might not, you know what? I might not even do the body work except the rust holes underneath. Just leave it as is and beat the shit out of it. All right, where's the, oh yeah, here we go. This pulley's gone. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that, this pulley's also shot. All right, because like I said, I just want to run around, and this this will be perfect for it. Every mechanic's got some piece of garbage that they just run around. This alternator's gone, and if we can get junkyard parts, we may be able to get this thing back on the road for the like for cheap, cheap. How much oil you got in? You got any oil in it? Let me see. No, your bone dry. Oh, geez. I didn't even know you could take the dipstick all the way out. Get in there. All right. We got one spark plug left in it. Those I'll probably replace because you should always replace your spark plugs. But oil filter looks good. Again, you should never leave an oil filter uh, on a car if you don't know anything about it. Always get rid of it. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay, that worked. So it looks like most of the floors aren't horrendous, but there's like the wheel wells look bad. This front looks bad. This fender's kind of dinged up. It needs a new rocker. Uh, this whole roof headliner shot. All right, let's see here. There's no exhaust on it. Let's get her back up. Let's see here. All right. The rear axle's completely gone. Um... Which is fine. Like, that doesn't hurt anything, but. Oh, look at this. This is good. This is all right still. All right, this is fine. I'm not sure about the gear shift and stuff. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Should I just. I can't really start cutting things out because the of where it's sitting. Okay, let's see. So the both rear wheel, rear wheel wells need to come out. That's fine. We can do that. Where's my where's my grinder? There it is. I think I need more grinding discs. I think I do. Okay, let me see here. I can take this off. Uh, we'll worry about rust repair on the outside after we're done. But again, I don't really care. So let's see here. I gotta buy you. All right, let's grab. Oh yeah, I gotta pay for that. All right, there we go. It's my first purchase. Get some grinding discs so I can grind this out and then I can buy new new underside panels for it. See, sometimes you just need a new project, right? Right. Okay, get out of the way, table. I'm busy. All right. Okay, let's put this on here like such and then we'll grab that. All right, let's see here. Can I cut these out without causing myself too much hell? We're going to try. All right, there we go. That's out. That's out. And that's out. Okay, that works. Okay. Look at that. Look how shitty that is. All right, let's see here. Now, can I get the other one out, or is that thing resting on it? Well, we're going to find out. You're out. Oh, I need a new disc. Some of the comments said, oh, you know, it's just like real life. Like, they don't last very long. And I'm like, dude, I'll tell you, man, I've been using the same grinding disc for, like, a year. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Take this out and that out. Uh, that should be, what the, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's this one. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. Now, what else has got, Ooh, where'd it go? Aha, there we go. This is going well. All right, so let's see, what other rust do we have under this? This whole floorboard needs to be cut out. But, other than that, the floors are decently solid. Surprisingly. You know, I'm going to try to cut it out with it on the hoist like this. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You can come out, and you can you can come out. And now we need a new disc again. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, this got to go. That got to go. That got to go. Okay, okay, okay. She's really losing it. She's going to fall down. Oh, there's the rocker. Let's see here. You go out here. This rocker is... 
Uh, is this all banged up pretty bad? Oh, I don't know. You know what? It's not that bad. Just a little bit of a little bit of surface rust. I think we might be able to stand, dude. Stand up. I'm hitting shift. All right. Let's see. We might be able to salvage that. Um. So we need. Oh, how's the steering thing? Oh, steering shot, isn't it? All right, no problem. All right, so we need a floor pan for the right on the coupe and two wheel wells. All right. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's get this up in here. All right, okay. Oh, yeah, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, okay. Let's get the welder in here. A <sighs> little bit of a stick left on this. All right. All right, pick this up. All right, let's see if we can... At least tack it on. Okay, here we go. There's that. 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 Not bad. Not bad. You go there for a second. I might just weld this back in and then fix it uh, by grinding it. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh, you need another welding stick. And bloop. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you, f you fell down. All right, here we go. All right, let's see. Looking good. Looking good. I don't think I missed any welds at the moment. No, we did not. All right, so let's leave this on there. All right, so now we need two wheel wells. Okay, where are you? Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, right and left wheel wells. Which one are you? You're right. Bam. And where's... Oh, there. Jeez, I was like, where'd it go? It got shot all the way across the, across the shop. All right, it's nighttime again. It's always nighttime in this damn game. All right. Let's get this up here and... Tack, tack, tack. Oh, my God. Just tack the damn thing. All right, so that takes care of the majority of the rust issues that are serious. You know what? Both those shock absorbers look decent. I think I might just... Let me see. Okay, dude. All right, let me see. Okay, I'm going to have to undo them, but I think they're... Where did I put my wrench? <laughs> wrench? Hello? Okay. Um, yep, I know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Okay, I knew that. I was just seeing if you guys knew. All right, let's see. Take this out and this out. Steering shot. That's no good. Um, okay. Oh, no, wait a minute. There, that one's shot. Okay, so this shock absorber's shot. But this one is fine. The rest of the cross member looks pretty broken, so that can go. The steering looks like it's all buggered up, too, so I can go out here. So, and then we got to get the steering column out, but I think, I think a new cross member first of all the things is probably the cross member and the steering. At which point, let's see, we can fix, uh, getting some wheels on the damn thing. Okay. Let's see here. Um, oh, there it is. Cross member 93 bucks. That's not bad actually. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And then we need a steering rack. Where's the steering rack? Aha! 172 bucks. Well, you know what we're doing with that. We're going over to the other shop to get that. All right, let's put this on. I think we can stick this in here. All right. Oh, oh, bam. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, 172 bucks. I don't think so. Oh, okay, why didn't that one go in? Oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. That's broken. Well, well, well. Looks like uh, we may need our disc back here. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like this, this whole piece here is busted, maybe. This and this. All right, this is going swimmingly. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, that's like real broken. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. All right. And that's got the bad fender on it too, right? Yeah. So this can go out here 
<clears throat> trash. All right, so we need a front. This would be body, right? Right. Okay, inner panel. Let's see, floor right, floor, right, floor middle. No, 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 no. I think this is what I'm buying. I think. Is that what I'm wanting? This looks. This looks right. All right, let's uh, let's jam that up in there. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And that. All right. Oops. Okay. Can I can I stick it on when it's on here? I cannot. And up we go. All right. Why won't that... Maybe it's just so damaged that I can no longer weld it up. Or maybe this doesn't need to be welded to that. Like, I feel like it does. And now this doesn't have bolts in it. Okay, this is getting confusing. <laughs> it's getting really confusing. Off and off. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, gotcha. All right, so... This... Okay, everything on this side is just freaking mangled, eh? All right, let's see here. Can I put this back in now? Bam. Yeah, see, I'm not getting a bolt thing... Like, I don't know what the deal with that is. Oh, there's the bolts there. Okay, can we do these now? There we go. Okay. That's not great, but it's better. All right. Is this going to be okay? This is going to be okay, right? Okay, yeah, now the steering rack. We didn't buy the steering rack yet, did we? All right, so I'm going to buy the steering rack. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to buy it here because it was, like, freaking expensive. All right, yeah, we're going to go over here and buy a steering rack. I'll be right back. Well, it wasn't a whole lot cheaper. It was 150 bucks instead of, like, 170 But still cheaper, I guess. Save a couple of bucks. Like I said, I'm not looking to have some pristine model here. This is not going to be... I should really throw that stuff away. Oh, I left a chair attached. All right, okay. I'll get rid of it. I'll fix that, too. All right, let's get that. Let's get this in here. Bam. I'm not sure how. The, I don't think I changed my last one. So I probably just bolts that hold it in, but I don't. Okay, how do you. Oh, it's got to be bolts on top of that, isn't it? Oh, there it is. One in there and one in there. Okay. New steering rack is in. So where do we want to go from here? You know, I'm going to go throw this stuff away and see if I can make a few bucks in profit. I should probably keep the seat. Well, I'm so tired today, guys. Let me tell you. Like, I am just exhausted. Books had to go back to work today because she works at a school. So I didn't get much sleep because I was feeling a bit nervous for her. And now I'm just super, you know, I'm selling the chair. Screw it. Okay, I'll get a new chair. All right. I'm just feeling super tired because I've, I've only gotten about two hours sleep. All right, let me see here. So this isn't looking so bad right off the bat. All right, we need a new fender, obviously. That's fine. Let's bring this down some. All right, what are we missing from the interior? Obviously, we have no chairs at the moment. But a lot of the interior, like everything else is there. It even has a radio. And the steering column needs to come out, obviously, but it's not its not the worst. This side needs a rocker panel and a fender, which we will buy right now. Okay, let's see. So we need a left fender and a left rocker, right? Yeah, that seems to be about right. This should be super easy to get in here. Because you can't not have a rocker panel. <laughs> All right. Can I weld it in when it's shaking around like a fool all right let me see where's my welder oh no i did it again oops i did it again it's playing with my heart it's so lost in the game okay oh there it is all right here we go i just need you to calm your tits there bud all right here we go 
Okay, let's see. You can go there. Um, I think that's all the rocker panel needs to be welded in. Yeah, I think we're good there. I think the rocker's in. All right, cool. Now, the fender gets bolted in, so that should be, again, super easy to do. We'll put it on. <sighs> there we go. It just, it just shows you how bent this front end is, eh? Like, look at that. Like look at look at look how bent that is. <laughs> That's fine. All right, where's the where's the wrench? Um I know exactly where I left it. I know I know where it is. Stop stop commenting in the comments about it right now. Okay, just stop. I don't just, Okay, I know. And there's not going to be a cut here, uh, cause I just know exactly where it is. Okay. Here it is. All right. Here we go. I knew that again. I was just seeing if you guys are paying attention. All right. That can go in. So everything up here is kind of straight. I'm going to remove this radiator. This is, oh, it's leaking crap. Radiator's trash. All right. Get out of here. So realistically, let's just replace the hood, I guess. Because this is mangled, like mangled, mangled. And then that means this piece is mangled, mangled. How does that come out? Is this bolted in? Is this, what is this? Is this, this has got to be cut out, doesn't it? All right. Okay. Just relax. We're going to, we're going to get after it. All right. Let's see here. Up you go. You can take a look from underneath. Let me see here. How do we get you out? I forget. Oh, here we are. This has got to come out. And I don't think I ever did the other side. Right? Right. Because it was just so bad. But I feel like I may have to remove the bumpers and stuff. All right, let's see here. Okay, there we go. That's out. And that's out. Is this is this thing mangled? Is this is this is this totally destroyed? This doesn't it doesn't look bad. You know what? I'm gonna hang on to you. All right, let's see. Okay, so the lights have got to come out, and those are a screwdriver. So we'll grab that. I can't remember if these are any good, but I'll have to check that. Okay, and the other lights. And now we gotta get that one out. Whoops, I zipped it back in. Nope, that's not what I wanted. And Yura, were you broken? No, you're good. I'm going to keep you. But you're trash. How about the signal light? Is it trash? Let me see here. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, you're trash. All right. Get out there. All right. So. Now, I don't remember how to get this panel out because it's been a while since I've cut that out. So. Let's just uh, jack her up here a bit. Take a look. I thought it just cut it. What is my grinder at a disc yet? Oh no, it's not. So what's holding this in? It's not. Oh, there it is. I can see it right there. There we go. All right. So the front panel can come out. That's garbage. Now we'll get a new front panel. And, uh, yeah, I'll stick this thing mostly back together here. Okay, let's see. All right. Get up there, fool. Bam, new front panel. Where's my welder? Um, I do this a lot with the welder, and I really got to be careful with it because it's awfully small. There it is. You can go in, and you can go in. Perfect. All right. So that's a whole new front panel on that. 
everything else is actually looking not too bad. Like I might just leave the rust and go for like a a shitty a, like rat rod kind of look. But it needs most of the running gear, obviously, um, including all the suspension bits and bobs. And all right, well, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, let me see here. Mm. Suspension. I don't need to worry about that. Okay, front and front lower. And then we have upper. We can do both of those, but then we're pretty much out of money. So I'm going to have to work and get some extra money here. So we're down to 13 bucks, but that's all right. Let me see. Oh, geez. Look at nice little pile of parts. You can go in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, let's see. What are you? Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay. Yep, we're, we're getting her done. We're getting her done. Whoa, I thought this said left. Oh, no, this says right. My bad. All right, we'll get it in there. And you can go in. Like that. All right. Um, wrench. There it is. All right, so that is that okay there we go there we go look at me go like seriously just just rocking it today oh this is looking great now we don't we only have we do have a new transmission which is nice because that's a huge expense but i guess let's get rid of some of this maybe i can afford some other stuff this can go in there uh, let's see what are you oh you're a broken light you're a broken radiator and you are a broken signal light. So now it's a matter of I can put the stock spring in it on the 14 inch tires. Because I have one stock spring that appears to be all right. Don't roll away, fool. All right, there we go. I'm hoping anyway. Um, we have a transmission, which is great. We got one shock absorb. <laughs> we got one. You know what? I think we can piece this together relatively cheaply. Because like I said, I got most of an engine here. Well, let me just look inside here. Okay. 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 One of the pistons is fouled. Two of the pistons is fouled. All right. So we got to pop it off, replace two pistons. But that's not, that's not the worst. Like if we pop down to the shop. You know what? I'm just excited about this project. Like, I wanted the coupe, and now we're going to have a little beater coupe to just go get parts with, which is going to be great. So I'm going to leave this episode here because I'm running out of time uh, to record. Uh, I'm going to close this up. This is what we do. End the shop for the day. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Get your dog, your cat, your mouse, your goose, um, your ducks. Uh what other birds can be? Owls to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber. Because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! The beginning of a new project is always very exciting. Out. <laughs>